Welcome back to the Health Edition of Talk Television. I'm Emma Roskowski here today with Michael Shuba from Continental Hair. We're talking about wigs, hair extensions, hair pieces. Uh, before we get to our next caller, Michelle, hold on. We're getting to you next. I just want to talk just briefly about the fashion element of, of having extra hair because you literally can change your mood. You can change your look dramatically for one night and the next day you're back to looking the way you usually do. I have a client whose favorite story is that in the morning, she, her, her client races, her husband races cars as a hobby. And they were down in the Carolinas, and in the morning they were in the hotel, and she was wearing her wig. She has a number of different looks. She's wearing her wig, and she's introduced to some, some people. In the evening, she changes not only her dress and everything, but her wig. <laughs> and there was all this gossip going around because, you know, they'd <laughs> met this, this woman earlier. Right. And who is this tramp that he's with now? Uh -huh. And she thought it was the funniest thing. But, I mean, it really does change your look so dramatically. dramatically. And we're not only talking about, you know, having several identities, I suppose, which is a lot of fun for a certain kind of woman. But when you're getting dressed to go to a wedding or a bar mitzvah or, or a, a big fancy occasion, it's, it's really a thrill to be able to change your hair very radically, more than just what a hairdresser can do. Oh, certainly, when you've got more to, to work with. And, you know, not just, uh, not just color, but even, you know, length, like a fall or something like that, where, you know, when, when you're talking about a wedding where you want to wear your hair up, something more formal, or wearing it down when you're just, you know, having something that uh, you just want to have some fun. Okay, let's get to uh, Michelle next. Hi, Michelle, how are you? Michelle, are you there? Let's move on then to Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Hi. Hello? Hi, you're on the air. You're Hi. on Talk TV. Go ahead, Sharon. Hi, okay, thank you. Um, I have, like, diffused thinning hair okay. only on top. Mm -hmm. um, and it's embarrassing, and I have to, you know, wear my hair a certain way and everything. It's also, I am, like, 100% gray or white, I guess. Okay. So, and I'm too young to have gray hair. I don't want that. So oh, you I don't. Have, I've, I've dyed my hair. Or I put a rinse. In, I've been putting rinses in my hair, um, a brownish with a little red undertone. Um, but we it's can help you. Oh yeah. Well, absolutely. There's yeah. no. Uh, there's, there's help for that. Well, if you uh, if you're looking at having a small piece made or something like that, it can match your color exactly. Uh, and when you're wearing that, something like that, you can always give the hair underneath a little bit of a rest uh, while you're wearing that. Uh, so that's not a problem. We can make something that's really quite lightweight uh, and blend in with your hair uh, really nicely. Can you tell me a little bit about your hairstyle, like how long it is and is it curly? It's straight. It's, it's fine. It used to be thicker when I was a lot younger, like preteen and teen. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this has any bearing on it, but I had to take a lot of steroids oh, yes. um, in my mid mid 20s and early 30s i have multiple sclerosis but like okay. i'm as healthy as a horse now you would never know i i very active so mm -hmm. it doesn't hold me back doesn't do anything for me but i i feel inside that the steroids had a little bit to do with my thinning hair well it certainly could have contributed it might not uh, i wouldn't think that it would be the only factor but it certainly could have yeah, contributed yeah. Uh, no. but i would suggest that you look into something that's just a small partial that'll give you uh, uh give you a little bit extra volume on top yes, that'll blend I, in yeah. and you know right now uh, um for the parts i mean the parting that we have right now with the hair systems uh, passes what we call the waiter test. I mean, if uh, you know, you're sitting in a cafe and somebody is giving you coffee and is this far away from the top of your head, mm. he is not going to be able to tell uh, oh. that you are wearing anything. And I mean, they're just they're just so lovely. So I don't think you should uh, uh, you should uh, you know think that uh, that you have to uh, continue uh, with uh, with the look that you have. You can you can get something that's going to look really nice. Terrific. Okay. Thanks for that call. Uh, we got to take uh, a time for a final break of the afternoon. We'll be right back to take as many calls as time will permit back after this.